Hey folks, in this video we're going to be learning how to move an existing file to an existing folder using Google Apps Script. So you can see I have the spreadsheet here that is existing in my main drive and I want to move that file into this destination folder over here. So we are going to be using an unbounded Google Apps Script. If you want to, you can use a bounded Apps Script file. The difference between the two is that we are going to go up into the left hand corner here we're going to create a script file and then we're going to write it so it's not going to be associated with the file that we want to move but if you do want to use the file that you're currently working in you can go up into the extensions menu and open up app script it doesn't matter which one you want to use uh, we're going to need two things number one a file and number two a folder so once you have those things together we're going to begin so I'm going to start by going up into the new section, go down to more, and then open up a new Google Apps Script file. Uh, if you do this, it's just saying that your script is uh, accessible to anybody who has access to the folder you're using. Uh, so you want to have that as a consideration if you work in an organization that if you use a script file, it will be exposed to people if you share that folder or file with them. We're going to title our project. I'm going to call mine move file to folder. You can call yours whatever you want to. You can keep the boilerplate. I clear it just because of a preference. Uh, so what I'm going to begin with is uh, writing function. I like to call mine main. We're going to have empty parentheses. We're not going to be passing any arguments into this function. It's just for the sake of compilation. Um, so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to identify the folder where we want to move the file. So we are going to create a variable called folder and we are going to use the drive app library. We're going to use a dot and I'm going to use the get folder by ID method and we are going to pass the folder ID in as a string. So in order to get your folder ID, you're going to go back to uh, your drive. You're going to double click into the folder if you haven't already. And you're going to copy um, the uh, string of characters that comes after the folders backslash. So I'm going to copy mine. I'm going to paste it in there. Make sure you don't include the slash in there. I accidentally did. Cool. So once you pass that in there like that, we're going to use a semicolon, and then we are going to identify the file and move it to the folder. So we are going to use the drive app library again. We're going to use the dot. We're going to say get file by ID. I'm going to open up a parentheses, and you can see it has one argument, which is an ID in the form of a string. So we're going to do the same thing that we did with get folder by ID. We're going to use single quotes or double quotes, doesn't matter. Uh, then we're going to go to our file. Uh, so this file could be a spreadsheet, it could be a doc, it could be a deck, it could be a drawing, anything within Google Drive. And you're going to find the identification number in the URL of the file. You're going to copy it, you're going to paste it into get file by ID, and you're going to use a dot, and then you're going to use move to. You're going to open a parentheses, and you're going to pass the folder variable that we created into the move to method. You're going to hit save. You're going to hit run. And now you're going to have to give permission to app script so that it can move the file for you. So basically you're giving uh, create, read, update, and delete permissions uh, to this script file. You can see mine took a little bit of time, but then you're going to select review permissions. You'll select your account. You'll have a warning sign and go to advanced. This is just saying that Google hasn't verified the app. It's, it's not a problem. Go to move file, you go to whatever you named your project and then select allow. And we're gonna go to our destination folder and now you can see we moved the file in there. So uh, if you have um, you know, a folder and a file you want to move into, this solution will help. I'm going to be recording a couple follow-up videos that will show you how to move 
multiple files into one folder, how to create files, how to create files within folders. You know, so check out the playlist associated with this video. If you want to learn more about automation and Google Apps Script, I have a bunch of videos on my channel. Uh, I hope you found this helpful, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.